Who would win? Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Velociraptor. Let's go back millions of years. What would happen if a Tyrannosaurus Rex and a Velociraptor met each other? What if both of these animals were hungry? What if they had a fight? Who do you think would win? Pterosaurus. Millions of years ago, three types of huge creatures lived on Earth. Pterosaurus flew in the sky. Did you know Pterosaurus means winged lizard? Plesiosaur means close to a lizard. Plesiosaurs swam in the ocean. Remember, there were also other types of ocean-going reptiles. Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus, Ichthyosaurus, Pliosaurus, and Nothosaurus. Dinosaurs walked on land. Definition. Dinosaur means terrifying lizard. Some dinosaurs walked on two legs while others walked on four. Today, pterosaurs Plesiosaurus. and dinosaurs are extinct, which means they died out. Scientific name. Tyrannosaurus rex means triant lizard king. For short, Let's call him T-Rex. Meet the T-Rex. It had a huge head, sharp teeth, big black, I meant big back legs, and tiny, teeny. tiny front arms just looking for at one is scary. No one really knows what color it was. What do you think? Fun fact, lizards today come in many colors. Some even can change color. Tyrannosaurus rex, T-Rex could have been almost any color. Question, were they hot pink? pink? Probably not. Maybe they were green like an iguana of today. Scientific name. Velociraptor means speedy thief. Let's call him Raptor. Meet the Raptor. Paleontologists think it looked like this Velociraptor seems to be built for a speed and quick attack. A paleontologist studies prehistoric life. Interesting fact. Prehistoric means before recorded history. Fossils. T-Rex was discovered in modern times by people who found its fossils. Here's a photograph of the excavation site where this T-Rex was found. Definition. A fossil is preserved remains of a dead plant or animal. Fun fact, the largest and most complete T-Rex skeleton is discovered named Sue. It was found by and named after Sue Hendrickson, a paleontologist. Raptors were discovered the same way geologists and paleontologists found their Fossilized bones. Did you know a geologist and history of Earth in its rocks? Bonus fact. A new generation of dinosaur hunters has been looking for dinosaur DNA. This raptor fossil was found next to a... a Protoceratops. That it was fighting. Both dinosaurs died in this real life. Who would win? Here's a full T-Rex skeleton. One scientist assembled its fossilized bones. They learned that T-Rex 
walked on two legs. Interesting fact. A newborn T-Rex skeleton has never been discovered. Maybe you will be the person to unearth it. Did you know fossilized T-Rex footprints have never showed tail marks? This indicates that T-Rex did not drag its tail while walking or running. Here's a full raptor skeleton. Its fossilized bones look skinnier and more mobile than T-Rex skeleton. Definition. When all bone, the bones and joints are placed properly, it's called an articulated skeleton. Fun fact. Some people... Paleontologists. Yes, paleontologists. Now, Thanks. the Velociraptor had feathers on its body. Raptor trivia. Velociraptor is a member of the family of dinosaurs called Dromo... Dromaeosaurids. Droma... Dromaeosaurid. Means swift lizard. The T-Rex had a huge job with more than 50 teeth. Its teeth were not designed for eating vegetables. It had carnivore teeth as sharp as knives. Did you know carnivores eat meat? Herbivores eat plants. Dino trivia. When dinosaur fossils were first found in China, people thought they were ancient dragon bones. T-Rex had a small brain. What did it think about? When the raptor also had a big sharp teeth, that meant it was a meat eater too. Question. Would you want to be this dinosaur's dentist? Remember, proper... Proportionally. Yeah, proportionally. A raptor has a larger brain than it. T-Rex. A raptor's teeth point inward to trap its prey. Some scientists think that T-Rex was a brutal hunter. It had the size teeth and designed to be an apex predator. It is hard to believe that any animal would want to challenge a T-Rex. Definition. An apex predator is an animal that has no natural enemies. Gross fact. Carrion is the rotting body of a dead animal. Other scientists think a, that a T-Rex was not aggressive but a carrion eater. Instead of hunting, it roamed for animals that were already dead. The raptor was a predator that mostly likely hunted and ate smaller animals. It probably hunted in packs. Scientists think that ambushing its prey. Definition. An ambush is an attack by surprise. What do you think? A group of raptors, should we call them a bunch, a gang, a pack, a flock, a click, a crash, a rumble, or a storm, a herd, or something else? T-Rex, but boom, boom, boom. That is what a walking T-Rex sounded like. The ground would shake, alerting nearby animals. Boom, boom, boom. Question. How is a T-Rex like a chicken? Answer. They both have four toes on each foot. Raptor's foot. Paleontologists think the raptor was sneaky and quiet. As it walked, Rap a raptor probably tiptoed before attacking. It differs from the dinosaur because it had a sickle on each foot. Sickle theory number two. Or were sickles used as grips to climb trees? Was the raptor like a tree climber? What do you think? T-Rex arms. The small arms of a T-Rex seem almost useless. What could it 
do with them. A T-Rex had only two fingers and on each hand in a football game, the T-Rex would fumble the ball. Raptor arms. Handy fact. People have nails on their fingers and toes. Dinosaurs had claws and of a raptor have huge claws. Gross fact. A raptor's arms, hands and arms seem perfect for a dinosaur that is a is an aggressive hunter. Quick, long and strong, a raptor can easily rip apart its prey. A rap raptor's had three fingers on each hand. The middle finger was the longest and the first finger was the shortest. Tyrannosaurus Rex tail. Dino trivia. The first dinosaur fossil ever discovered was named Megalosaurus. Interesting facts. T-Rex walked on two legs. Its tail balancing its body and huge head. The dinosaur used its tail for balancing, but it may have also used it as a weapon. Getting whacked by its whip tail could not have been fun. Velociraptor tail. Dino trivia. The largest raptor ever discovered, the Utah raptor, is 20 feet long. Dinosaur tails. Ankylosaurus, Polycanthus, Stegosaurus. and Stegosaurus. Some experts now think the raptor's tail may have been straight and stiff. Why did dinosaurs die out? They did not look both ways before crossing the street. They texted while driving. One Skateboard stunt too many. Too many video games turn their brain to mush. They like to climb up trees but didn't know how to climb down. Aliens from other galaxies were hunting on Earth and wiped out the, all the dinosaurs. Scientific theories of dinosaur extinction. Asteroid collusion. Collis Collision. Yeah. Collision. A giant meteor hit and changed its climate. Rise of some animals. Small, sneaky animals started eating dinosaur eggs faster than new eggs could be hatched. Food chain imbalance. The larger dinosaurs had trouble finding enough food and started eating each other. Heavy volcanic activity. So much Suit and dust erupted into the air that sunshine was blocked and plants died. The plant eaters didn't have enough to eat. Eventually, the meat eaters had no plant eaters to eat. Ice Age. The earth became too cold. Disease. No infections, colds, and viruses attacked the dinosaurs. If a T-Rex had a fight with the raptor. Who do you think would win? Did you know a T-Rex was 42 feet long and 13 feet high? At the hips, it may have weighed 7 tons. Here comes the T-Rex to face off the raptor. It's not a fair fight. The T-Rex is much bigger, but the raptor doesn't seem to be afraid. It does not run away and wrap the raptor must have a secret. Just as the T-Rex is about to fight, a, the quick raptor leaps in onto its back. The raptor slices the T-Rex with its sickles. The angry T-Rex bucks and the raptor flung into the air. Interesting fact. A raptor was about two, three to four feet high, not much taller than a third grader. A raptor gets right back up and jumps on the T-Rex's tail. It slashes, then the T-Rex gets 
knocked to the ground again. The raptor starts making a squeaking. The T-Rex charges the little dinosaur. This time the T-Rex is fed up. Squeak, squeak, the cries the raptor. The raptor gets out its message. A pack of raptors come to the rescue. The T-Rex steps on one, then rips it with its teeth. But now the T-Rex is in trouble. What seems like an easy fight has turned into a battle for survival. One, two, or even three raptors are no problem, but more than ten. The raptor pack slashes and cuts the T-Rex. It's over. The T-Rex crashes to the ground. It makes no sense to fight a pack animal. If it was one fight, the huge T-Rex would easily be a raptor, but nature doesn't always present a fair fight.